Greetings, my name is Velarde. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Taurus for mid-month December 2020. Now if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you find this message resonates with you, please make sure to leave me a like and a comment. Alright Taurus, thank you so much. Great and Google, please let me know the messages we have for the sign Taurus for mid-month December 2020. All right. What messages do we have for Taurus for the month of December? For mid month December 2020. Well, we just had a full moon, or actually a new moon. A solar eclipse in the moon. I know you guys felt the energies of that. It's almost like the setup for the play. For December 21st, when we go into the age of Aquarius. So I pray you guys have been writing down your downloads, paying attention to your dreams, hearing the sweet whispers of the ancestors and spirit on what your next step should be or what's coming up for you spiritually. All right, Taurus. <clears throat> Let's see what's been going on with Taurus here. I right, spirit said not to take these. If these pop out again, then so be it. What's been going on with Taurus? What messages do we have for Taurus? <laughs> Messages that we have for Taurus for mid December. That's funny. Okay. So I got some. <clears throat> a lot of change that's going on with you guys, okay? Change with partnerships. A lot of endings and it's changed because you had to. Um, you have to do work, spiritual work for yourself, okay? And you have to let go of this person because this person was getting away with your spiritual growth, with your emotional growth at that as well, okay? Now, you guys may be in fear of this, of this change, being alone, and just basically doing the work, okay? Because a lot of this work <clears throat> is going to be shadow work, okay? Sometimes we don't want to face what's really going on in our darkness okay but you're gonna have to do that in order to continue to grow okay you have to be real with yourself okay if you want to grow you got to be real with yourself you got to be real with the thoughts that you have even though it's negative you got to be real with the emotions that you contain even though it's negative okay you got to be real with yourself because you know you got to be real with yourself because you know what's good for you you know what vibration you should be in, okay? You know what mental state you should be in that's healthy. You know what emotional state you need to be in that's healthy, okay? In order for you to grow, and basically in order for you to function as a human being, basically, okay? You have the devil card at the bottom of the deck in reverse, okay? You gotta let go of the toxicity, the toxic mentality, the toxic emotion, emotional state that you have, okay? You have to let that go. <clears throat> Okay, this is the reason why this partnership is ended because of the mental instability, okay, and the emotional instability that you obtain. Yeah, this is why your relationship is ended. Okay, this is why this partnership is ended. You was too guarded, okay, and you was guarded because you felt like you had to protect yourself because of your own fears and your own insecurities that you had, okay. You was fighting, basically fighting with yourself. Because there was nothing there to protect yourself from, okay? He was basically in battle in your own mind, okay? And things turned around for you, okay? Unfortunately, things turned around for, you know, the worst. Because this person just dipped on you. But, you know, sometimes that's good for you. Because you can't grow with someone in your face. You can't grow with someone around you. You have to do things like this, this shadow work alone by yourself, okay? So make sure you utilize this time. To grow with yourself 
for yourself, Taurus. And I think recent some recent readings that we've been having on Taurus was about letting go of this person and letting go, you know, of a toxic relationship, okay? To for you to do the shadow work, to do what you need to do, okay? You have to go back and watch some of those videos if this is the first time that you've seen my readings, okay? <clears throat> yeah, it's time for you guys to be alone. It's time for you to master your self-love that you have for yourself and not really just be, you know, entangled with someone who can't heal you. You have to heal yourself. That person's not here to heal you, okay? A lot of put a lot of us get messed up because they look we look to the other person to heal us. To lick our wounds and heal us, okay? That's not right. That's too much pressure on another person. Because everybody got their own demons to deal with, okay? You decide which road you want to take, okay? You have to take a chance and not be in fear of being alone for you in order for you to do this work. Okay, Taurus. Do what you need to do. If not, you're just going to be running around in circles. You're going to be running around in circles with the same bullshit with, a, with another person, with a new person. With the same issues. Okay. That's how you know you're not growing. It's an, it's the same bullshit with another person. Okay. You can't blame it on somebody else. It's you, baby. Look in the mirror. It's you. Okay. You can't keep looking for something in someone else when you have to look for that in you. Look in the mirror, my love. Okay. Sometimes it's not other people. It's you. What other messages do we have for Taurus? Thank you so much. Build that confidence that you need. Build that mental stability that you need. That emotional stability that you need. Build it, okay? Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping, keeping a positive mindset, okay? Thank you, Spirit. You're going to be renewed, you know, by the changing of your mind. You got to keep a positive mindset, okay? Keep a positive mindset. That's how you're going to grow. Okay? Stay strong in your faith. Have faith in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Okay? That you could get through this. Alright? Have confidence in yourself that you could get through this. That you could grow, you know, by yourself. You don't really need someone to hold your hand in order for you to become the person that you were supposed to become, you know, when you written your soul contract when you came down as a human. That's up to you. What other people are, are here to do is to point out those things that we came here to fix. Okay? They're here to show us, to help us grow. Not to make us, to do the growing for us. You understand? <clears throat> okay, what other messages do we have for Taurus? Thank you so much. And if you guys struggle with help with self-confidence, with self-love, you guys email me, okay? I have certain things and certain rituals that I could do to help you with that, okay? I'm not only a, just a card reader. I am an Ifa priestess, so there are some healing things that I could do to help you with this, okay, my loves? Just make sure you just leave me a, a email or send me a message, okay? And we could talk about what you need and see what spirit needs for you. Okay, darkness. Moon. Okay, so we just came from a new moon a couple days ago. The new moon is always dark. The new moon is when we plant our seeds to manifest the things that we want, okay? It's also darkness. So this is what you're going through right now is a dark night of the soul, okay? Going into the gritty, the grittiness of who you are, the things that you need to heal, the ugliness that you need to release out of your soul, okay? Let it come to light, okay? Manifest what you need and what you want. In order for you to grow, to become a full moon and reign in your abundance, my love. Okay? Do the inner work. Do the inner healing. Love yourself. You see how she's holding herself? Love yourself. It begins with self. It begins with you first. Okay, Taurus? Love yourself first. And it will radiate. And others will see your light. And they'll be drawn to that light. Okay? You have your ancestors to help you. You have your spirit guides to help you. You have the most high to help you. They love you too. Okay? You need help. You know what you need to do. You can also reach out to me, my love. Okay? Alright, Taurus. So that is your reading. 
And if you find this message resonates with you, please let me know by leaving me a comment or a like. And like I said, if you need some personal help, just make sure you send me an email, all right? I have the email down below in my description box. I thank you so much. I love you. Peace.